Alright bro, so this has probably got to be one of the most despicable videos I've ever seen from a family vlogging channel that I've seen on YouTube involving a mom and her son and I'm not sure if this was like an editing mistake. I'm not sure how this video was leaked. It had to be a lazy ass editing mistake. She forgot to take it out of the video and uh, she made a complete fool of herself. Now apparently this YouTuber, her name is Jordan Cheyenne and she was filming a video with her son in response to the death of somebody they know. Turns out that somebody was her son's dog but um due to this terrible ass editing mistake she got exposed for basically forcing her son to cry for views and be part of our family so if you could pray for us we appreciate it i love you guys but <laughs> come here come closer for the video come closer come closer come closer put your head put your head right here come closer come closer down put your head down here act like you're crying really quick i am crying Look at this kid's face, man. Apparently his dog just died. I thought it was a person at first, but it was his dog. And of course, with these family vlogging channels, they gotta literally film every fucking crevice and facet of their life for views, right? It's their job. But in this video that she was trying to film, this boy was legitimately upset and he was grieving and, you know, trying to heal in his own way. But apparently he wasn't crying hard enough. Go like this. No, mom, I'm actually seriously crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this, put one hand up, go like this. <laughs> No, go like this. Uh, put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. No, mom, I'm actually crying. Nah, bro, what the fuck type of clown ass shit is this? I'm telling you, man, the more I learn about these family vlog channels, the more I'm realizing that it's full of sociopaths who have no regard for genuine human emotions. Like, everything has to be scripted with these people. They can never have a just genuine type of moment. And involving your children in a vlog that they don't want to do, forcing them to cry in this situation, her son, when his dog just died, is so crazy. It's sad. And it's cringe. It really is. The mom is absolutely cringe for doing this. I'm sorry. Like, look at her face right now. Just absolutely, like, legitimately embarrassing. Look at me. 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 I know. Look at me. Look at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Oh, so what is she trying to do right now? Get the perfect thumbnail for this video? I'm just wondering how the fuck did this video get leaked? Did she accidentally hit the live stream button? Because there's no way in the hell she would miss this in a video and not edit it out. But apparently, according to the comments below, somebody asked, how was this posted? And somebody else responded back by saying she uploaded it on her YouTube and forgot to edit out the end. And the fact that she actually forgot to edit this out of her video just shows me how lazy most of these creators actually are. Like, how do you miss a whole one minute and 29 second chunk of bloopers that was not supposed to be in the video and just upload that bitch straight to youtube like did you not watch the video before releasing it because keep in mind guys you gotta upload the video you gotta make a title tags seo description all of that right and then the video has to process and then there's a preview and all that and then you get to schedule a release date whether it's tomorrow next week next month whenever you want and you get to actually watch the video beforehand so i'm just wondering like how is such a big fuck up like this possible and now a lot of you may be wondering what is jordan cheyenne up to nowadays well apparently she's turned her channel into a fitness youtube channel she uploads videos of different foods she eats working out videos it looks like her son is no longer involved in her on well that's a mistake here we have a video of her showing her and her son in some type of framed picture but yeah i'm not really here to send hate to this woman as the situation is years old but it's just like strange i've never seen this before and it just made me cringe it really did because like who the hell says act like you're crying when the boy was legitimately already crying but like i said he wasn't crying hard enough apparently for her you know i guess she thought that if he wasn't crying hard enough you guys which i'm sure some of you were subbed to her channel before would not have clicked on that video of their dog dying if the sun didn't look sad enough unfortunately that's just how it is on youtube you guys will not click on a video unless there's enough clickbait on the title or thumbnail unfortunately and i'm not entirely sure why that is now like i guess there's just too much competition and apparently uh this woman she actually made an apology video about this whole thing I, we're very upset we've been crying all day it has been extremely scary they don't know if she's gonna make it honestly completely worn out emotional crying the whole day i had christian on my shoulder and i was like here come here compose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done and that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so 
sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. So basically to boil it down to a minute in the most simplified way I can possibly say, the bitch just wanted to pop an ass thumbnail that people would actually click on to get the most amount of views possible. <laughs> like, I don't know why YouTubers always want to overcomplicate things, like come up with these whole ass roundabout ass excuses. Like, bitch, if I ever get exposed for something, right, or I get in trouble for something, at this point in my life, I'm gonna just come out and say what I did and be like, all right, bro, it is what it is, man. I kicked an old lady off her wheelchair and her, her dentist popped out i'm sorry i mean i was high i thought she was a green little goblin it's what i saw i was zooted as fuck it was a terrible thing for me to do and i won't ever do anything like that ever again or at least anytime soon the end end of video <laughs> like what else am i supposed to say if that actually happened right like come up with some 50 page ass fucking apology monologue that a hundred other youtubers will react to <laughs> like nah i don't got time for all that man but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below man it seems like i'll never ever run out of content to talk about because yeah there's a lot of idiots in this world anyways like sub to the channel <laughs> turn on all notifications and new video tomorrow